channel mommy loves reviews if you're first time here thank you for visiting and please do subscribe that would mean really a lot to me so today i'm trying to do a mini tutorial kind of thing so i have never done any kind of tutorial in my entire life but i thought like Let's see if I can do it or not. So basically today I tried to recreate uh, one of the hairstyles of Jacqueline Fernandez from her latest hit song, Get the Fool. I really liked the waves uh, she did in one of her looks. So basically I don't have that long hair, but still I thought why not try it. Um, the techniques I used work really well for me and this style, if you want, you can keep it up for like two to three days. If you have very oily scalp, you may use some dry shampoo to just refresh the scalp. But other than that, the products I showed, not necessarily you need to use all of them, but you can try using them so that your hair is protected and the style holds up for longer time, especially if you have like straight hair like me, then you might need to add some products to just make sure that the style is holding up. And um, this is about it. So if you guys want to know how I did this style and I think I did okay, uh, okay job I guess. Uh, so just keep watching the video. I start with damp hair after taking a shower. Now I'm going to use Alterna Caviar CC Cream. You can use any leave-in conditioner or serum for protecting your hair from the heat. Next, I'm using the Matrix Oil Wonders Volume Rose Plumping Mousse. You can use any kind of volumizing mousse if you want. And this step is completely optional. Now I'm going to comb my hair with the Tangle Teaser to get rid of any tangles. Next, I'm using the Sexy Hair Protect Me Hot Tool Protection Hairspray. Basically, this is a heat protecting spray. If you're not using any kind of heating tools and you're just going to air dry your hair, then you can also skip this product. At this point, I'm using my Hot Tools One Step Blow Drying Brush to dry my hair. You can use any hair dryer or you can just let your hair air dry but remember not to dry it too much it can be dried up to 90 percent after that we need to start doing the style When my hair is almost dry, then I'm going to separate my bangs and just a little bit of hair from each side of my ears and then take the rest of the hair to the back. Now I'm just tying my hair in a ponytail on the top of my head with the help of a invisible hair tie. Now I'm just gonna curl my bangs and the hair that I left untied a little bit just because I think this look would suit me better. Now the main part starts. I'm gonna take small sections of hair from the ponytail and make some braids you can make as many as braids as you want according to the thickness of your hair
when all the braids are done I'm gonna go to bed like this after waking up I untied all the braids and took off the ponytail and this is how my hair looks right now I'm ending this by spraying the IGK Beach Club Volume Texture Spray so that my hair stays like this for a longer period of time. So I hope you like my hair tutorial and I hope you guys will excuse the mistakes that I made throughout making this video because I'm really trying to do better and I'm really new at this and I really need your support to grow my channel so please do subscribe and like my video and uh, the products that I showed you can just substitute for any of your favorite products um, uh, make sure if you're using any kind of heat or blow dry in your hair like I did Please make sure to use a leave-on conditioner on your hair or a serum kind of thing and a heat protecting spray so that you know your hair is protected, the hair doesn't get damaged when you're doing lots of hairstyles, especially with heat. And you can use some kind of texturizing spray to you know hold the style for a longer period. And of course, if you want to refresh the scalp, you may use some dry shampoo but the style will hold I hope. I hope you all stay safe and healthy and do take care. Bye bye.